Hi, everybody. Um, how's it going? I'm doing great. We're here on a Sunday, which is not a normal day for us. Um, I was kind of weirdly getting some stuff around. This week is a holiday week in the United States, anyway. We have Thanksgiving this, this week, and I'll have Thanksgiving break. But, excuse me, I'll be spending a lot of time with family, so I won't really have time. Happy Sunday, Mom. Thanks for being here. Um, I'll have a lot of family time going on this week, so I won't really be able to stream during the week. So I wanted to get one today, and hopefully we can get another one Saturday. That's my, that's my plan. Um, so really, as we get into the um, holiday months, we're going to be having just, you know, moving the schedule about here and there, but I'll still try to get my, my regular two to three kids. Um, so, also, the plan was to get back into some Tekken 2 today. I was actually really excited about that, but I uh, run Tekken 2 via capture card, and I was having uh, some technical difficulties with that. So, we're just playing Platinum, which I... Am always overjoyed about. Um, ah, yes, we have Gilbert the Barrel. Um, I don't really remember how imperative having Waterfall is in this victory road. Let's see. Okay, so yes, you do you do need Waterfall. Ah, uh, honestly guys, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm just gonna teach my Vaporeon Waterfall. Oh, hello Join, hello, oh, techn technical difficulties. That is great, I love that actually. Um, um, I know, I use Water, you really do only really use Waterfall once, but also like, do we care about having Bite on my Vaporeon, I don't. Um, because, you know, we got Hound Doom for the dark moves, and we also have some dark type coverage with Torterra, so I'm not, I'm not really gonna miss, I'm not really gonna miss Bite. Um, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. There we go. There we go. Oh, is Vaporeon a physical or special attacker? Almost certainly a special attacker. Um, let's see what our stats are here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Super duper a special attacker. I can't always get rid of the move for something else. Um, but uh, just for our purposes through Victory Road, I'm just gonna drop Bite. Who needs it? Um, and again, I always say, these are some of the things, like I can teach her Shadow Ball later, like we, we, have, we have options. Um, but uh, for now, we'll just go with Waterfall. Just to help us get through Victory Road peacefully. Because we're going to do the same thing with Toxicroak. We're going to get rid of one of her moves as well. Yeah, we'll get rid of that bite. Not really doing anything for us. Perfection. No, we won't miss bite, Brody. We'll be fine. Um, famous last words. Um, let's see. All right, we will, we'll actually start with Karen because Karen's gonna be faster. But here we go, folks. We are, ooh, Brody. I've been, I've missed you the past couple streams. We're gonna, we're gonna get our badges all shiny. Um, I mean, if we're about to enter Victory Road, and we're about to show off our mad skills to all the trainers in there, be like, check what we have accomplished. We gotta be able to show all of our badges nice and shiny. You know what I'm saying? Um, but how's everybody doing today? Um, I, we, my wife and I had a really nice day yesterday. We um, celebrated her birthday, which was really nice. Her birthday's actually tomorrow. Um, but we celebrated yesterday, and we kind of had a special day. We 
Um, well, Brody, I was waiting for you. I, I know you really appreciate the bad shining content, so here we are. Um, uh, but yes, we had a really nice day yesterday. Did a lot of activities, um, a lot of little surprises. Um, I'm going to give her her actual gifts tomorrow, which will be nice. Um, and yeah, it was great. And Friday, oh my gosh, Friday, guys, we took a much needed... Oh, there we go. We're all shiny. We could go to four sparkles, but I don't want to. Um, all right. So I'm going to save the game because I have anxiety. Um, and yeah, we had a really nice day. Friday, we had a very badly needed rest day. Work has been really, really taking it out of me lately. So here for Thanksgiving, it is not coming a moment too soon. Here's this Victory Road music. Yes. Um, yeah, the Victory Road music in this game is is intriguing. Intriguing. <laughs> What's harder, Cynthia or Shining Badges? I mean, I don't know, man. Um... Keeping the, our badges nice and clean is, is it's a it's a mighty task. Yeah, and of course we have rock climb here on Toxicroak. We will be getting rid of that. All right. Oh, perfect. Um, I'm pretty sure Karen's gonna get access to Crunch at some point here. Might even get access to a new Gen 4 move. Dark Pulse, there it is, I was just about to say. Um, Dark Pulse is a really nice um, dark type move. Um, Crunch was Dark's strongest move previously. Um, and Dark Pulse is kind of like Crunch's, is kind of like the answer to Crunch in Special Attack. Basically, it's Special Attack Crunch, um, where Crunch is physical now in Generation 4. Um, Gardevoir, are we going to flinch it? No, but we'll be fine. Haunter, Gengar, Gardevoir, that's a mighty team. Um, oh, Karen's definitely special. Um, there is actually a Dark Pulse TM in this um, area, in Victory Road here, in Platinum. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, yes, there's a lot of different spots we can go. Yes, there's only that trainer and that item down here. A lot of rock climb, a lot of all the HMs. And our friend Hot To Go is making it happen, baby. Oops. And, you know, it is... Just doing a regular old playthrough, it is nice not having to worry too much about, like, the overall optimization of your team's moveset. That was one... That was one fun part of our Battle Frontier run. But it can be exhausting also. Um, I love Knocked Owl. Ooh, got the flinch on me. There we go. And there, Knocked Owl has two Psychic-type attacks, but Knocked Owl is not a Psychic-type Pokemon. It really should be. Or maybe get, like, a Mega or something. We'll just keep battling. Because we need to get Pikachu some levels, and these Blizzards will do the trick. Lovely. And I believe this, yes, just leads us to an item. Max Repel. We'll use that. Um, let's see. You always get confused. because get, Yes, it gets Crunch and the Fang moves. You're so right, Brody. Houndoom gets Crunch and Fire Fang, um, but it is not a physical attacker. It is primarily built to be a good special attacker. Um, so what we might end up doing is teaching our gal, Karen, the Dark Pulse TM that you can grab here in Victory Road. And as you can see, we got a lot of kind of topsy-turvy 
bridge rock climb action to begin our journey through. Let's see. Ah, Blissey. But we do not want to hit Blissey with special attacks. We want to hit Blissey with physical attacks um, because it is a very strong... Um, there we go. It has very good special defense. That's kind of Blissey's whole thing. Um, there we go. A very weak attack. That was a 40 power rock smash, just so you know. Um, and we'll get Autumn in here for a Magnazone. Uh, yes, I always remember you see Magnazone here in Victory Road. Oh, Glalie. Very, very bad for our friend Autumn. Um, oh my gosh. Could you imagine getting, um, Fire Fang in Gen 2? That would be sick. Thank you, Mariah. Um, do you have anything for us? You do? You have a nugget? Um, all right. So here's kind of the Strength and Rock Smash area. I might... You know what I'm going to do? I'm being a little bit paranoid here. Um, but I am just going to hop back to the Pokemon Center momentarily. Just while we're already here in this front room and near the Pokemon Center. Um, I can just kind of take care of this. Uh, I don't remember if there's a spot in Victory Road to heal in this game. I think that is something that they introduce in later games. Uh, we'll have to see. And there's our repel. I'll kind of speed up our way back to where we were. <laughs> yes. Houndoom could be great in Gen 2. There we go. All right, so now we're back to where we were. I just thought it might be nice to heal the squad, get some of those power points back while it's convenient for us. And of course we are rock smashing and strengthen all the way around. I don't remember if this is a way that we need to go. I really enjoy Generation 4's Victory Road for the most part. Um, okay, so we can strength down this way. Perfect. Lovely. Okay. So that's not a way you need to go. Interesting. Um, <laughs> I want to go back up toward the top because I know there's some items up there. And I want to point out, here is Mamoswine. This is the new evolved form of Piloswine. Um, I love Piloswine, but Mamoswine is a really good step up, I think. It makes a lot of sense, and I think it's a really good addition to the roster. Unlike a lot of the other, you know, Gen 4 added evolutions. But... Another thing that that you see here in Victory Road... Hold on, let me get this level here. Alright, so here is Rampardos. And I don't think we've seen Rampardos yet. A lot of these trainers in Victory Road, they very specifically have Pokemon that will help you complete your Pokedex. These trainers have Pokemon that you're very unlikely to have seen thus far. And in this game, like I've said, you complete the Pokedex just by seeing the Pokemon. You don't have to catch all of them. So that's what a lot of these trainers in Victory Road do. You'll notice, like, I think one of them has a starter. It's it's very interesting how they do it in this game. I actually really like it. Um, there we go. Motham. Yes, and we've yet to see a Motham either. Let's get... We'll get breakfast. Um... Let's see. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, we're up to level 45 now. You know, Brody and Join are uh, 
commenting on the fact that our team is going to be pretty underleveled for the Elite Four. We're probably going to have to do some grinding. Um, mm. I really, really want to... Nice to get the Omni Boost. The battle's over, though. Um, I really, really want to get to level 50. Get the whole team to level 50. That's going to be imperative. Um, so here... Oh, this is important, because you need more room to be able to go two tiles on your bike, so that's why you have to push that rock back. Let's see. Not that. There we go. All right, I got to get out of the high gear, so I only go one. Dang it. Ah, sorry. There we go. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. So let's see what this one is. A nice max elixir. You always need those beautiful uh, PowerPoint restoring items. Back to second gear. Let's just hop right back over that there rock. Lovely. All right, so we fought that guy. Now, yes, we need to do that one. Hit this rock smash. And then... Boom, right back. Um, yes, and uh, if we're having trouble with the champion, we can always do it like we did Wallace. Do you remember that Wallace fight in Emerald that we had? That was just, just completely absurd. Um, let's see, I like a breakfast lead here. There we go. Um, we ended up using tons of potions, tons of revives. We barely made it through. I don't really remember what was the breakthrough. I remember Agron made the final hit. We were just so screwed because we had nothing to hit his Gyarados with. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, let's see. We would love to have Toxicroak here. Uh, let's just keep using return. Well, this is annoying. Oh my gosh. Oh, Meteor Mash. Oh, that's so cool to see on Clefable. Um, Clefable gets Meteor Mash because Clefairy and Clefable are canonically from outer space, which is really neat. Oh, Torterra. Uh, I was saying there's a starter coming up, and I'm really happy that that light screen wore off because now we can just knock it right out with Vaporeon. Um, and there you have it. That'll kill a Torterra every single time. All right, let's do some healing business. All right, remember, we still have those nine rare candies, which is excellent. Um, and I will be using those a little bit later. Um, I think this is a veteran coming up here. Um, and what you need to do with this part, you can't go in there yet. You'll have to go down the stairs and come back. Um, I like breakfast here. <laughs> Brody, that will be amazing. There's a chance that we teach Vaporeon Ice Beam um, instead of Blizzard, but I'm going to hold on to Blizzard for now. Let's see. Um, I'll definitely go into the fight with Blizzard, because it's just going to be nice to have that extra power. Um, and if we fail, we can always try again. Um, this isn't amazing, but I don't want to swap into Magnazone, seeing as we could catch a close combat and just totally die. Ugh. Alright, the recoil should kill the Star Raptor, though, thankfully. Um, I think Brave Bird is a new move for this gen, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like a, a really, really powerful flying type attack. The, the Star After does like a huge dive bomb. It's kind of like double edge, like flying type double edge. Oof. Folks, we're about to see one of the worst Pokemon ever made. I talked about Ambipom er earlier. But here, this trainer has Licky Licky. The evolved form of Lickitung. Not only is it entirely pointless, it is deeply ugly. Deeply ugly. And if you have followed the leaks that have happened recently of, like, previous generations, 
the design, the original design for Licky Licky was so much better. So much better. But we got this. It looks horrible. I hate it so much. You love Licky Licky Join. Oh my gosh, you are in the minority, I feel. What do you love about Licky Licky? I'm very curious. Um, wow, do you like Licky Licky too? Dang, am I just hating right now? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, teaching another Pokemon Ice Beam could be good. Um, <laughs> it's tongue? <laughs> Hey, I mean, that's one of its main features. Um, I did forget that this one knows Earthquake. Ah, uh, well. I hope it has a good personality. I really do. Um, we did get a defense drop on Licky Licky. That's why I went into Torterra. Just to finish it off real quick. Um, I mean, it, it does have like, it's got like a fun-loving personality. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Um... You like the tongue and the goofiness as well. It's funny because I like a, you know, I like a goofy, a goofy guy as much as the next person, but very interesting. I didn't really know that people had that opinion. Um, let's start with Karen in the next fight. So as you can see, we had to move that boulder through that corridor just so we can go up. But if we just go down the stairs and back up the stairs, the stones reset. So then you can just um, push it down here, and then you have access to that corridor. Corridor. That's how all the Pokemon games work up to this point, but sometimes you can forget. All right. And then, yes, we gotta go around the bend here. Is there an item in there? Ooh, there is. All right, where is that item? Did I just move that stone? Oh, no. Oh, a forest door. Amazing. Sometimes I get confused with the old dowsing machine. And this might be another bike puzzle. Yes, it is. I don't remember what this item is, but... Alright. We'll keep our repels going. Keep them flowing. Ooh, a nice double battle. Hey, a full restore. Full restore is still great. I don't really like the bike music in this game, though. I feel like they uh, really had a stronger bike music game in earlier gens. We'll do Karen and Hot to Go. We'll have our evil-looking team to start this double battle. Um, all right. <laughs> Luckily, we will have just, just tons of money to buy full restores and revives and all the things that we'll need. Ah, speaking of Pokemon, I think are ugly. <laughs> That's true. Hop to go does not do a good job staying alive a lot of the time. Um, all right, we're gonna double up Star Raptor. Actually, I'm gonna swap you out because you lost attack power anyway. Um. Mm -hmm. Pikachu's pretty bulky. Yeah, that works. Oh, we're probably gonna get a double, double dose of flying attacks then. Oh, I forgot about close combat, and it's faster than Houndoom. That's gonna be a one shot every time. Oh no! All right. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna catch a... Definitely gonna catch a close combat again. Oh wow, this Ambipom's got the coverage! Um... Oh, Ambipom would be the tennis champion. It could play doubles with itself, with its two arms. And in case you're wondering why, why I'm using Waterfall here, I've explained this before, but Surf actually hits your Pokemon as well in this game. Um, Generation 4 is the first time that Surf does that, and it's really annoying. I think it's to kind of help nerf it in double battles, if I'm being honest, because it was probably too strong in Generation 3. Um, okay. 
we're in a much better spot here. Yes. And yeah, we'll be living that. And I'm hoping Flash Cannon will take it out. It is stab. There we go. There we go. Tons of money. But we do have to heal some. Yeah, and we're always potioning up every fight. Lovely. All right, and what is up here? Ah, yes. So here you can't... You gotta go up right away. Boom, just like that. And what do I have? Oh! So if you take this little detour in this area of Victory Road and do these bike puzzles, you will find the TM for Stone Edge. And Stone Edge is a really, really powerful new rock type attack in Generation 4. It also has a high critical hit ratio. Very, very strong if you can land it. Um, I think its attack is like 110 or something like that. It's a really powerful move. Um, but I don't know if anyone can learn it. Maybe Autumn. Um, might not be worth it though. We'll see. We will see. And now we can move along. Boom. One thing I love about Victory Road in this game is that you don't need Flash. I hate that you need Flash for the Victory Road in Generation 3. Um, okay. All right. So this guy's got some fighting types. Let's get breakfast in there. <laughs> You yearn for the mines, put on your little, uh, what's that, helmet lamp. My Pokemon knows karate, I'm warning you, I'm a tough one. This guy might have him a champ, I think he does, yes. Just in case you don't have any friends and can't trade with someone to get yourself a champ, this guy's got you covered so you can get Machamp for the Pokedex. Um, oh, scary face. Oh, don't kill us, don't kill us, thank you. Cross Chop, mm. Cross Chop also has that high critical hit ratio. Um, that can be scary, but we're good. We are good. Hard Hat, yes. Um, all right, we'll keep Karen in. And this room right here is why we need Waterfall for Victory Road. Do, 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 do. And there's a lot of stuff in here that we can pick up. Oop, not yet. I believe that right above our character is the Dark Pulse TM, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I am mistaken. I don't remember. Ooh, Floatzel. Hopefully we can run from this. We can't. Oh, no. Don't kill me. Can I not run? Ugh. And I can't switch it out. Guys, that's the most annoying thing in the entire world. In the entire world. All right, what am I doing? I have my repel. I need a revive now. Because Karen just keeps dying. Oops. I meant to heal her up. Um, let's see. <laughs> I don't know, Brody. Mm. Luckily for us, I mean, we love Chimeco in this house. James the Chimeco from Emerald was glorious, but luckily, that's not going to be too much of a problem for our Houndoom. Love to see it. Um, Absol. Awesome. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Let's see... What's going on here? How you doing, Leo? Good to see you. Oh, I love Absol. It's exerting its pressure because it's so sick. Um, maybe we can get a defense drop here. Oh, my goodness. Um, I mean, Rock Smash is not that powerful, but on our gal hot to go, it is formidable. Great. Um... Chimeco is so overhated, that's why we had to represent in our Emerald playthrough. I was very, very happy we were able to do that. But honestly, the episode where we found it was just brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. 
Ooh. Um, I don't know if we have seen this yet. We'll go into Karen. Hopefully we can get a flinch. Um, this is Dusk Noir. Ooh, really creepy, weird <laughs> cry does Dusk Noir have. But it is the evolved form of Dusk Clops from Gen 3. I didn't think Dusk Clops needed, a, needed an evolution, but they decided to give it one here in Gen 4. And here's Dusk Noir. It's fine. Um, please flinch, please flinch, please flinch. And it did. Hooray. Um, I think a Fire Blast will do us here. Boom. Karen perseveres. Um, and Static is our only one that needs up to 46 in a plot twist here. <laughs> I mean, Jimeco is still not strong. Um, it was not our best Pokemon by a long shot. Oh, there's a heart scale. That's going to be great um, for Togekiss. Calcium, also good for Togekiss if we want. Um, but let's see. We'll use some of our calcium. Let's give this to Pikachu. Excuse me. Carbos. Maybe we'll give breakfast a little speed boost. And then finally protein. Uh, we'll give it to Torterra. Really make that earthquake hit real hard. So we have a double battle here. Let's, we'll support hot to go with static. That should make things easier. Awesome. Got a nice double battle. Some of these are quite fearsome. <laughs> um, I, I don't feel like these games have an, quite enough experience. Mmm, so Rapidash could really mess up our, our our boy Static, but we can kill the Luminion. Let's, let's just see what we can do. Um... Oh, <laughs> well, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. This will probably kill Magnezone. <laughs> That's gonna really annoy me. And it does. It is indeed the one shot I was afraid of. That'll lower my special attack. That's okay, though. Um, no big deal. Torterra, we can Razor Leaf that. Poison Jab, you. We're going to be good to go still. I do still need to train... Uh, whatchamacallit? Magnezone. As a matter of fact, I'll just use a Razor Leaf now. And then use a revive, so Static can still get a little bit of this experience from the Lumi uh, from the Luminion. At least I think that it will. Yes, Static picks up those 500 points. Um, I know. I <laughs> it's so funny. I I put out a short talking about Sturdy. I'm like, oh, it's so great that we have Sturdy on our Magnezone. <laughs> uh, forgetting that that's not how it worked until Gen 5. All right. And we can pick up one more item up here by going through that there. Double battle, and it's a rare candy. You love to see a rare candy. Especially when, as you can see, we are in desperate need of levels. All right, I will, I will kill this Floatzel, though. Oh, boy. There we go. More drugs. Hey. Sometimes you just need that little boost, you know? Don't do drugs, kids. Um, we don't need revise. Yeah, we're, lo we're looking a little sorry right now. I'm glad I bought a ton of hyper potions. We're going to buy a ton more once we get to the Pokemon League. And I need that repel. There we go. All right, so a lot of these little surf areas kind of annoy me because there's just a lot of them that you have to do. Oops. Da -da 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 -da. 
Ah, uh, Victory Road. Somehow it feels like a journey is coming to an end. Bro, same. I honestly feel that. Oh, this is actually fine, because I think a special attack flash cannon is going to be great on a Rhydon. Absolutely. Ugh. And that is the great thing about the physical special split, because Rhydon has really bad special defense, and previously, steel moves would have always been physical, but here we can get a special steel move. Um, I'm not going to teach Mirror Shot. Oh, no way. I'm not getting rid of Flash Cannon for that. Yes, absolutely give up on Mirror Shot. And here's Carnivine. Have we seen anything for Carnivine yet? I think we have seen Carnivine. You can catch these in the Great Marsh. Um, it is a really interesting forgotten little Pokemon. It is a one-form Pokemon, like a Venus Flytrap. A lot like Victory Bell in that way. It's kind of like a weird knockoff, but... It's funny. It's goofy. I like Carnivine. I know! Like, and we have fought just about every trainer. Um, there's only a few other trainers in the game that we have not battled. Like, I've really tried to pick up experience whenever possible. And here's that waterfall. Alright. Can I kill a Floatzel in one discharge is the question. And I can. That's great. So if I run into any more, I'll just do that. So, if you pop down this waterfall and jump right here, you can get the TM for Dragon Pulse. Um, this is a new move for Gen 4. It's a special attack. I think it's around 80 power. Um, just a really nice dragon type attack. It's a good coverage move, especially for a Pokemon like Lucario. I know Lucario can learn it. Um, dragon Pulse is a really cool move. Um, and just has cool vibes. I like it a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, your Twitch is glitched. It says you're live when you ended stream one hour ago. Interesting. Very odd. I don't know what to tell you there. Um, but I mean, maybe it's just a day for technical difficulties. I was having, I was having issues earlier. Um, not with Twitch, just with my own personal stuff. So maybe I need to get my, get my house in order. Ooh, and here's a dragon tank. Dragon tank. Ah, uh, yes. The famous Altaria of, what's her name, Winona in Gen 3. Two discharges will do the trick, but not when he switches to Gabite. This is the, uh, what should we call it, the evolved form of Gibble. We remember Gibble from the old uh, uh, Wayward Cave. Oh, I really thought that would knock it out in one shot, but there's that quick attack. Um, and we'll just keep battling with Pikachu. Just really overkill it with Blizzard. Love to see it. All right. Do, do, do. All right, so I think I, I might have been mistaken. We picked up the Dragon Pulse TM. We did not pick up the Dark Pulse TM. Um, just checking these rocks for items. Okay. Hold on, is there something here? Okay, no, I don't want to jump down that. That would be extraordinarily annoying. Of course. That's all right. Extra little bit of experience for our boy Static. We're going to need it. And there we go. Lovely. All right, so we are kind of uh, coming up on the end of Victory Road here. Um, let's just pop a save while we're at it. Only a few more trainers to go. Um, all right. I don't remember, yes, what I need to find. A Razor Claw. I believe the Razor Claw is how you evolve Sneasel into Weavile, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or maybe that's Gligar into Gliscor. I don't remember. Shows you what good I am. A lot of time the veterans have... Oh, I see. A lot of time the veterans have... Um, whatchamacallit? Fighting type Pokemon. But here we have a Porygon Z. My guess is that we're going to see... 
an electric move, hopefully not ice beam. Um, mm, I don't know what to go into. Let's do hot to go. It might know psychic though. Oh yeah, there's thunderbolt. It's probably gonna be faster, and it is. How about that? How about that? Hot to go goes down. Um, I don't know if it has ice beam. It does not, but it does have signal beam, and it confuses me. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. <laughs> That would be very funny, Brody. All right, so now two Pokemon down. Um, let's use Static here. Okay. Okay, great. Ooh, Empoleon. We're actually going to stay in. Um, we haven't seen Empoleon. This is the final form of Piplup. Oh, it's so cool. Empoleon is so cool. Oh, it's a water steel type, which is dope. It's an emperor penguin. This is like a perfect Pokemon design. It's so funny because Torterra is still my favorite. I actually prefer Torterra, but Empoleon is still so awesome. Hopefully we can knock it out with one thunder. There we go. And we do. Um, Tang Growth. Like I said, this is that... Uh, Victory Road. It is dope. It is so dope. Yes. Um, this is Victory Road coming in with those Pokemon we haven't seen yet. This is the new evolved form of Tangela in this game. It's fine. I don't really care about it. It just used Power Whip, which is a really powerful new grass attack. Which is why even though... Okay, good. Um, even though through not very effective, it still really hurt Karen there. Okay, so I don't remember if there's anything down here. Yes, that's actually how I get to the end, so I'm going to wait for a second. Let's do this first. Ooh, I think here's a secret item. Let's see what this one is. Oh, classic little strength puzzle. All right. This is a Stone Cold Classic Strength Puzzle. You do this in Chuck's Gym in Gen 2. You always just do both sides and then do the one to the left or right. And there's the TM for Dark Pulse. Wow, I was right. Uh, so you can find Dark Pulse and Dragon Pulse here in Gen 4's Victory Road. It is just a, a pulse factory. They're so alive. Um, lovely. W... So we might teach that to Houndoom. We'll see. We will see. I am going to go around the bend here because I want to show this to you. We have this guy standing here. He says, let me size you up. Aim for the Pokemon League. That's all you should be thinking about. So basically what he's saying is we can't go through this little door until we beat the Pokemon League. There is a cool little surprise in there that we're going to be checking out. Um, so stay tuned. Um, all right, one more repel will do us. And also, while I'm in my bag, I might as well revive our fallen comrades here. Lovely. Doom. We'll see if I need to heal any of them up. Uh, we'll start with Togekiss. Maybe save on some potions if need be. Alrighty. Last trainer. It's ideal for training. You're so right, my friend. Um, -do 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 -do. Ah, the Dragon Tamer. Ah, Gibble. Classic. We were just talking about you, little guy. We'll just hit him with a return. Boom. Swablu. Oh, we'll stay in. This guy is a pushover. Oh, there's that Dragon Pulse, though. Um, not doing very much from a Swablu, but... And then here's Gabite. We'll just use uh, Pikachu. One well-aimed Blizzard will knock out a Gabite every single time. 
Would I ever consider doing a Nuzlocke? You know, I was just thinking about if I would ever do, like, a Nuzlocke or, like, a single Pokemon run or something like that. I could be, I could be, don't kill me, thank you. I could be interesting and interested in doing some challenge runs at some point. Um, I'm really interested in playing different games. Like, I, like Pokemon's the bread and butter, but I want to play some different games, too. Um, so, the answer is yes. I don't know when, but, excuse me, I could be interested in doing, like, a Nuzlocke or some other kind of challenge run here on the channel, for sure. Um, alrighty, folks. So, defeating that Dragon Tamer is the last trainer here in Victory Road. Um, I don't know if there's any... Okay. Now, once you exit the... Uh, Victory Road here. I know that somewhere there is an item. Let's see. Ugh. I hate it when it does that. I genuinely don't know why it does that. Sky Plate. There it is. Um, so there's the Sky Plate. It's hidden. There's a text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. Whew. Baby, love some lore. Love me some lore. Um, let's... I think we heard the nighttime version of this track um, when we first got to Victory Road, but now here's the daytime version. Um, oh wait, no, we had not yet heard the nighttime version. But anyway, once you clear Victory Road here in Generation 4, you have one more waterfall to climb, and it's this big guy right here. And if you remember when we looked through the binoculars at the Sunny Shore Lighthouse, we saw this beautiful castle-looking structure, and this is the Pokemon League here in Generation 4. It's very epic, very cool. I'm excited. We're not going to challenge yet, <laughs> but I'm excited. Um, ooh, Tekken Nuzlocke. If you lose a fight, you change characters. Genuinely, I don't think I could even do that. <laughs> I am just not good enough at Tekken, honestly. Um, I really like Tekken, but again, I'm just not good enough at it. Um, yeah, I was really disappointed we couldn't play Tekken today. I will try to figure out what, what ailed us there, but... I'll work on it. Um, all right. So as you notice, I kind of went the long way to the, whatchamacallit, I'm actually gonna look this up. Um, Let's see. I'm on the absolute classic Cerebi.com. Do, 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 do. Yes, this is what I want. Um, I am cheating a little bit here, but you know. <laughs> it's my game. Um, okay. So not... Do, 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 do. Yes, Pokemon League. That's what I want. All right. Um, I am actually going to start with that. So I'm going to save the game here for something fairly predictable. As you can see, when I went to the Pokemon Center, I went the long way. Because once you get to the center of the room here in the Pokemon League, your friend, your rival, we named him GCG, will challenge you. Don't go without me. He wants to make sure he can challenge you one more time before the Pokemon League. And he has got a tough team. He, I really like your rival's team in this game. Um, specifically, a couple Pokemon that he found via Honey Tree 
which took some patience on his part. Which is funny, because you know, your rival character in this game is not known for patience. He's very famously impatient. I actually really like that. That's some good character growth. Um, okay. Ooh, the U-turn! This is a bug-type move that's going to instantly swap Star Raptor out of the fight. So... Ooh! But it sends in Roserade, so if we hit a Blizzard, yes, we're still sitting pretty. I'm gonna have to swap Vaporeon out after this. Oh, and we get the one shot. That is great. Um, <laughs> yes, I try not to cheat in rare candies, Brody. At least, at least not for something like this when people are watching. Um, Okay, Infernape. You would think he would not want to stay in for a Vaporeon. Um, no, but I like this matchup here. Oh, the stars. Gotta love Inf Infernape. I would say... Ooh, hopefully this doesn't kill me. We'll see. I don't think Infernape's a great special attacker. Um, I would say the Generation 4 starters are about as consistent across the board as any set of starters. Um, and I feel like that's not an unpopular opinion. Nice! Pikachu is doing work. Um, Alright. Star Raptor again, we won't outspeed. So I'm just gonna try Static's chances at uh, surviving a close combat. Oh, it's a mixed attacker. Thanks, Brody. I genuinely didn't know. All right. We're gonna lose that attack power, but that is okay. Um, I'm pretty sure a discharge will do the trick. We just have to survive this close combat, hopefully, maybe. It is super effective. It's only one time super effective. Great, all right. So that's fine. Staraptor gets that really powerful fighting type move, but it's not a fighting type Pokemon, so it doesn't get the stab bonus. If it was a fighting type, it would have for sure killed us, but we are able to kill it with one discharge, especially with the special defense drop that you get from using close combat, which is actually a really cool mechanic on that thing's part. So here comes Heracross. We have seen his Heracross before. Um, it's actually a really neat mechanic because um, close combat is like the Pokemon gets in close and does a bunch of little punches, but getting in really close makes it more vulnerable defensively that's why it's defense and special defense drops it's a cool it's a cool thing all right one fly should definitely do this hair crosses four times a week here also has close combat some strong fighters on this squad lovely love to see it bum bum Alright, we already got a big win for Static. Let's see if Autumn can take out Floatzel. Floatzel will probably have Ice Fang in its moveset. But I don't think one will kill the Floatera, right? It does have Ice Fang. We'll see. Ooh, okay. We're fine. Let's get a critical Razor Leaf to one-shot this bad boy. Ah, uh, not quite. That's all right, I'll swap that. I don't want him to die. Um, ba, ba, ba. We'll swap in Pikachu, because it's not gonna be a big deal if we get knocked out here. Oh, we hang on. Um, let's try Surf. Oh, not twice, unfortunately. All right, yes, we'll use Breakfast here. And I'll just use a nice return to hopefully knock out Floatzel. There it is, lovely. Breakfast is the goat of our squad, by the way. Um, okay. Sorry, my wife just texted me. And then finally, we have Snorlax here. Um, Hot to go should be our Pokemon of choice. Um, we've seen his Munchlax at the battle at Spear Pillar. Um, but here is his fully evolved Snorlax. I'm gonna try to get some defense drops, because Rock Smash is not gonna do great damage on its own. Better than I thought, though. Oh, it knows Earthquake, come on. Don't kill me. Oh, and a crit, oh my goodness. 
Not good. Not good team. Um, all right, I don't have, let's, let's see if we can get a flinch with bite. Come on, get a flinch. Uh, not quite. Hot to go, just keeps going down. I mean, hey, I've never used a Toxic Croak before, so it must be time to just continue not using it. Um, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. We are going to paralyze Snorlax. Lovely, I'm glad that we are. Um, um, that's fine. I'm just going to use a nice Hyper Potion here on Autumn, and we'll take that Body Slam. Alright, so we should be good now. I'm actually going to do a little Leech Seed, just for funsies. Yes, I had a feeling it would use Rest. Um, so I'm actually pretty glad that we used Leech Seed there. Maybe we can get a nice crit with Razor Leaf. Honestly, at this point, it's just, yeah. All right, staying asleep for three turns is going to help us here because that Earthquake will help us finish it off. Ugh. One thing about these games, in Generation 4, they really start giving the opponent Pokemon really good coverage moves. Like, for example, that Snorlax had Earthquake. Like, the Licky Licky had Earthquakes. Everything has, se seemingly everything has Earthquake in this game. Um, which is really good, obviously. Excuse me. So, GCG's like, I'm not gonna do the Pokemon League yet because I'm losing to some loser like you. And I say, who's the loser now? Um, no, he's not a mean guy. We've had other mean rivals in our time playing Pokemon on this channel, but not not GCG. He's a he's a solid fellow. Um, all right, so we're gonna buy just like a ton of potions right now. Um, we'll get to 30 supers. Hyper potions, we'll get to 40 of those. Um, I don't like to buy max potions because 200 hit points usually does the trick. Um, if anything, I'll buy full restores because... We'll get to 40 of those. Lovely. And then revives is just, there we go. That'll give us 50 revives. <laughs> um, full heals, we'll get five more, oops. Do, 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 do. Uh, hot to go is kind of dead weight right now. Is a little bit dead weight right now. I'm, you, you are correct. Hot to go is not really pulling their weight, but I want to try to keep. I want to try to keep her on squad. I really do. Um, I really want to try to win with this team. We could replace Hot to go with Giratina, but that seems a little cheap to me. I want to try to not use Giratina. You're welcome to use Giratina on your playthrough of Pokemon Platinum, and I've used Giratina plenty in playthroughs that I have had, but. You know, I want to try to do my best to not use it. Let's see. So, let me step out here of the Pokemon League. I am going to save the game right here, because this is actually going to be a really great <laughs> stopping point. Join, you have my thoughts exactly. Hot to go is cool. He's not good, <laughs> but he's cool, and I appreciate that. Um, let's see... I, for the next time we play, I'm going to really brainstorm what our move sets are going to be, um, because we're definitely going to do some work on Hot To Go and on Breakfast to get better move sets on them, um, because we're going to need it. And I have the Giga Drain TM for Torterra if we want. Um, that could be a nice pivot. Um, Crunch could be nice in the... Elite Four. Oh, <laughs> all right, Join. You ready? I don't know if you've heard my perfect chicken noise yet, but uh, for those of you that have not heard it, you're in for a treat. If you have heard it, you're also in for a treat. Here it goes. <clears throat> there you have it. My perfect chicken noise. But, folks, we're getting close. 
Um, I know we're definitely going to do some post-game episodes of Platinum, so don't worry. There's more Platinum to go yet. <laughs> Thank you, Join. Um, oh, yes, yeah, send me some moveset ideas on Discord um, if you want to. And join the Discord. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow on Twitch. Do all those things. Um, they are all free. And I will say one more time because I have anxiety. And like I said, folks, I will not be back here for a little bit. Um, just some family stuff with the holiday. But I really, really appreciate you being here with me today. This has been really lovely. Um, and yeah, sorry I couldn't bring tech in today, but I will get that sorted out in due time. Well, with that, I appreciate you. Have a great day. Have a great week. And if you have some time off work, have a good short week. I know I will try to. And I will see you all next time. Peace, kids.